Hello everyone, this is GM Business Guest speaking. And yeah, there's still like a few more seconds for the song, so. Okay. Uh, two, one. Yep, that's done. And. Okay, welcome back to another episode of C9 official live stream for future updates and survey results. And yeah, well, the reason why I came late for like a minute is like just because I w I've been coughing a bit. <coughs> yeah, still, still kind of clearing my throat. I don't know why. And here is like really late, and I'm actually in the middle of in in in, in my office right now. And I can see other GM seats here. It's all empty. Yeah, I should be going home by now. But <laughs> my home. Well, I'm recently moved my home, and the internet there is really slow. So I cannot really do a proper broadcasting live streaming. So I kind of decided to stay late at work and do this thing here. Well. It's not all that bad. Yep, I'm pretty wide awake. So that's enough of my little chit chat, and I'll go to today's business. Yes, it's all about business. <coughs> okay, so I didn't bring my old fancy screen thingy with my business catalog on it because I, th I thought that's kind of I don't know not so inform informational I don't know it's well it's <coughs> big wide screen so anyway yeah just enough of that anyway so as the title says it's future updates and survey results I'm just gonna click so the contents would be the future updates and survey results for Rebin Survival, Community Events, and New Mystic Class Name Contest. Well, it looks kind of simple, but I should have expanded the, the number one future updates to list, but I got that listed up right here. So I'm going to talk about New Mystic Class, Pet System, a little bit more from last time, a bot detect detector an update for Glenheim Redemption I kinda named it like that it's just work in progress name so so those four are gonna be today's topics so yep you guys all know about there's gonna be a new mystic class in near future so it's still under d development and class is basically wielding a gigantic cannon with a with a bayonet attached to the front and it's shooting rockets flamethrower uh, throwing f uh, well shooting flames and it has a even a little like servants like a satellite lookalike servants that shoots another set of rockets well, I'm gonna show you guys a video anyway, so that's pretty much it. And it does ton amount of tons amount of damage to the to the to the mobs. I've seen videos and those looked really impressive to me anyway. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's just a pet system. I'm I'm supposed to be putting on the t video now. Hang on a second. Sorry about not s not so smooth transition here oh okay that's gonna be better just a second <laughs> sorry about that it's just yeah I haven't set up my work PC as my live stream setup so it's not all that <coughs> great I guess and it doesn't have any mu any kind of music on, so 
I'm just gonna put on another Cena in soundtrack because it's on the development. It doesn't have sound on it, so I'm just gonna play it. Okay, so that's pretty much how this class is gonna work. I mean, attack and kill the enemies and do its all the actions. So, well, personally, it's it's looking pretty promising. Well, maybe some of you might be worrying about another OP class for the PvP, but I'm not sure about it at the moment. But well, personally, I kind of like the look of it, so hope it hope it brings a good vibe and more to the other people. Okay, I'm I'm gonna bring back the slideshow. Yep, there you go. So that's the new Mystic class. Uh, about the new name, I'm gonna talk about it a bit later. And yeah, next thing is the pet system. So it's still under development, but I think it's almost the end phase. So it's almost complete now. And I've seen some footages, and I got some footages for you guys too. So you guys can have a look at it. And those actually really look like those little pets in the illustration you can see on the screen like 
little dog legs or little lady like girl looking with a fairy wings and uh yeah you, you you pretty much get the idea and you you guys have seen this one last time so i'm just gonna skip it quickly so this is the 3d model of the pet this is the fire type yeah you, you guys actually can see that like it's kind of like a dragon looking and there's some the red color on it so and this is the sky type and the power type and agility type it's uh, this one is multi-purpose type and this haven't uh, this I haven't shown you guys last time uh, this is yeah this is gonna be a rare one with pretty cool skills too yeah I've got the video of this guy in action so you guys can see it later oh okay so that's Oh, this, that one is the end of the slideshow. Give me a bit, give me a second to prepare the movie clips for you guys. I'm just gonna talk through it so that you guys can understand what's going on in the screen since it's all written in Korean because yeah it's in it's being developed by Korean guys basically so for the reason's sake it's all written in Korean oh, hang on yep there we go and I'm just gonna turn off the volume a bit and this is the screen yeah, pets. You can get pets from a mysterious egg. You open it, and it's gonna open like a the chest that has like random stuff in it. Basically, there's gonna be six pets inside that egg, and you're gonna have to pick it out of the egg. But most of the pets were performing really well so even if you haven't got the rare ones I'm pretty sure guys will be able to play with it really well and pets can be combined together to become something else if you don't like like having a bunch of same pets together I'm just gonna skip to the point there we go. So just like like enhancing weapon kind of stuff, you just put two pets inside there and you get one random pet. Well there are well it's all it's a kinda random chances again. And if you want something then you're gonna have to try a little gonna skip the boring ones oh and to level up your pets you need to feed the pet with equipments like weapons or armor and those equipment depending on the grade like higher the grade of the weapon or equipment the more the pets receiving exp from it so it's gonna take a bit of like extra equipments okay so yeah this guy's just showing basically the different amount of EXP that pets gonna receive after feeding. 
So there's some buttons like like feeding all the magic grades to the pet or feeding all the normal grades to the pet. But any items rare or higher you cannot feed all at once because well some people might find them really precious and by accidentally clicking those buttons will make them pretty miserable. So that's a little failsafe feature. And pets can be evolved to become stronger. That's why you have seen like two different pictures of one pet because one is before evo evolution and the other one is after the evolution. And this is how it looks with the pet in town. You just summon it and yeah there you go. There's a pet. Cute little fishy look like dragon. <laughs> Wiggling. Personally, I like the pink Lapu. Yeah, Lapu is actually a monster you you can see in Sixth Continent, but Dev Team decided to make one pink and into a pet, and I actually really like that. Especially after it gets ev evolution, then it gets really cool-looking horn and a staff, and does ton amount of damage to monsters too. So that's the power type. Oh actually I'm just gonna show you guys like before evolution and after evolution movie. So that one is a fire type evolu evolution version and the one with less decoration is like the basic one. Okay, so that one is the sky type. Has that Egyptian looking hat on top of it now after evolution. Oh, and the power type. Oh. Yep, there we go. singing. I think the concept of this pet is like liking music so much. So it sings all the time whenever it has some time. Oh, it looks like it's hungry now. And the agility type. They have names too actually, but I'm not sure how they're gonna be named later in English, so I'm just not gonna say it, but just say by their types. Yep, that's the multi-purpose type one, has wings, and occasionally pops out monoculars and look around and make it disappear and that's the basic animation and this one is the last one my favorite favorite one the lapu
I don't know. Some people found it kind of strange to like this one, but I don't know. This one's kind of my favorite. So enough with the basic one, basics. So uh, let's move to action. Yeah, so pet has its own inventory like skill book, so you equip it there and you can summon from there. You can see, you see those pink clouds, that's what, that's what that pet is, how that pet is attacking the monsters. really does a lot of damage in my opinion and not all the pets are attacking monsters I think oh and you can actually see the pet is automatically picking up the loot on the ground as you move past so that's another feature that's really convenient since I'm kind of lazy to pick anything on the ground now. So that's the pet. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna move on to the next subject, next topic, which is a bot detector. And yep, back to the slides. So. I know it's like putting it's like putting a recapture to the game like in in certain amount of in every certain amount of time which is which is going to be really bothering for some people because well you know like while you're playing you you get this pop up and saying like asking questions to like disengage it properly but then a lot of people are like really angry and disappointed with tons amount of bots like conquering the server taking over the entire server and recently we've been blocking a lot of bots because we've been like blocking accounts that's been selling like that's been like acting suspiciously we've been digging out logs and actually found a lot of uh, a lot of accounts that's been behaving strangely like having tons amount of items at level a uh, low level and then receiving stuff from like random accounts and uh, that doesn't make sense at all like yeah well it's all the like technical stuff but then which is kind of hard to describe right now but yeah uh, and also we we been trying to analyze the pattern of the bot and and since we are going to implement a new bot detector we're going to just show you guys how we've been blocking the bots so far so from level 50 and after most of the bots had have used skill points 200 or less and has terrible let red trap hobgoblin hunter mob master legends and could enter 
red fog marsh or pixie gold mine and the bots bot accounts between level 10 and 49 never used any skill points and had go goblin bot collector feared goblin hunter no battle of legends so well to think to think of it really I mean how could anyone really not use skill points to level up till 79 uh, 49 but then there were a lot of people who haven't used any skill points till uh, during that time and it like ended up getting blocked and well it's all because we've been doing this all manually because like it's it's been a bit difficult to implement this system. It's been taking some time. We've been like dev teams been analyzing data and trying to solve it once and for all. And finally, we try to exclude all the previously blocked accounts because well, we only receive like unblocked requests from the real people, and we could actually verify them and unblock them one by one through our like support team so it's been really like horrible for us to like for horrible for everyone actually so even though this is kinda a bit like making you difficult to play the game a bit but I'm pretty sure you guys will like it after all the bots are gone so later, after the bot detector has been implemented, well, this is the things you'll get. So bot detector UI will appear randomly while you're playing games or while you're in the town. Basically, you'll get some random UI that says, like, it's gonna ask some kind of question, or it could be a recapture, which you have to basically like read the like warped or like this like strange looking letters and numbers and then after successful disengage you guys will receive some kind of benefits like it's gonna be some kind of buff or I don't know small it could be something but I haven't received any information regarding this so but they said that dev team said it's gonna be something there's gonna be something there after you successfully disengage this thing and after you failing the dis failing disengaging engaging the bot detector after several times then you guys are gonna get some kind of disadvantage I'm not sure what's gonna what's gonna be that also so it's gonna it's gonna be implemented pretty soon since like all our players been really angry we were angry everybody was angry about the bots yeah I really hate the bots too I've been blocking all those bots manually Claire's been blocking all those bots manually a lot, a lot of them seriously I cannot even count how many bots we've been blocking like manually typing the names one by one so hope this is gonna be some help for this for the game like fingers crossed so next topic so this is pretty it could be big for some people maybe not so major for some people but well this is just work in progress name saying like Glenheim redemption and you're gonna f you guys gonna find out why it's why it's being called redemption so I'm just gonna go through it quickly dungeon difficulty adjustments gonna happen so no more Rakdan's counter attack mobs after this update we're gonna remove them all and they're gonna only appear in nightmare modes basically so yep no more greens or reds or whites or blue or whatever yeah they've been quite pain in the ass and <laughs> I didn't really like them either 
yeah, like I can still remember them first came out, and it was like, God, how many, how, how long does it take to kill each one of them? And also, previously existing mid bosses will appear again, and yeah, it's gonna be easier, a lot easier than the Rock Dance counter deck mobs, and they will drop some items when they die. So you guys can lose happily. And dungeons will become easier, like mob monsters will have less HP and will do less damage. So it's gonna be more fun to run the dungeon after this. And better quest routes. More quest EXP you guys get after you guys been accomplishing a quest a quest, gonna receive more EXP from the update and you know all those like item gathering quests like bring f like 30 skulls or 40 uh, whatever and that's gonna reduce in numbers so it's gonna be easier to clear all those like bothering quests and move on to the next stage so that's gonna that's that's a good news I think Better dungeon clear reward. Yeah, after clearing the dungeon, there are six cards that totally placed randomly, so you guys can pick one up. And there's gonna be more items from now on, so it's gonna be a bit more enjoyable, maybe a little more. And magic and rare grade items will appear twice more. Yeah, I, I, I remember that too, that I've been only getting like normal grades, like the white white ones. Yeah. Been selling all them for gold. Well magic also been selling those too, but rares yeah, I, I use rares because yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite really hard to get P rares. I understand that. <laughs> so still, there are gonna be more rewards after you clearing the dungeon. So another good news: Master Difficulty Dungeon Party Benefits. There's gonna be a skill book chest. Yes, it is skill book chest, but. Still, it's gonna only drop normal or magic grade met skill books, but still, like, it's if there are like three people in the if three people party in the master dungeon, you guys gonna get three skill books. If there's four, then four skill books will pop out from this chest, and this chest will appear in the master difficulty dungeon guaranteed. So, party up with your friends and Try out master dungeons from there from now on. More skill books to grind if you want like rare or P rare by like using the skill book combining system. Or even just use it as it is and quickly just gather up all together and then maybe like start from there. And also it's con it's it may contain more loot for you guys to pick. Dev team haven't decided yet, but there's gonna be something more, maybe. And fourth and fifth continent boss mob will be nerfed. And new event dungeon will be added after this update. Limited entrance per day, like the survival. So like, I haven't receive the info about the number of the entrance per day but I don't know it could be like two three because there's a dim boss guarantee like every time you enter you'll see a dim boss there so like limited entrance like 10 per day it's gonna be ridiculous I think so I don't know, like one or two, maybe or maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, so that's something. Pretty cool, I think. And this is the last topic about the future updates. So, just move on to the survey, survey results. So, well, as always, thank you everyone who participated in our survey. Well, it's all much as appreciated. And here are the results that you guys might have been wondering. So, this is about Rebin survival. Like, most people been using P rare grade weapons to try their try Rebin survival, and most. Like more than half of the people have been only trying less than five times. More than half of the people couldn't get past round ten. And almost everybody agreed that it is really, really difficult. <laughs> and it is actually I I received an answer from dev team for the reason the reason of the results because they really raised up the level of the the difficulty of the dungeon uh, survival Rebin survival dungeon because they made the sixth continent equipments really really strong or equipments for really tough so I'm suggesting you guys get like six continent equipments as as soon as possible if you guys want to try Rebin survival because I've seen many people still using fifth continent P rares or master weapons and equipments. Well, if those are really good and high, uh, enhanced really high, then yeah, go for it. Why not? It's, it's still good. But if you're if if you got nothing to lose and still want to be strong then I'm I'm really suggesting you guys get six continent weapons and equipments. So what changes did players want? Mostly monster defenses and the monster HP. Not sure about the mana points but Yeah it's basically saying mobs in that survival dungeon is not dying at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and dev team has has been informed about this survey, so but I think they're gonna watch a little more than if things not getting better, then maybe they'll do some changes. N no promises, but so that's the result survey result for Rebian survival and the community event. Yeah, we've received some surveys for the updates u updates users want, and this is the results for it. So, about forty percent of the people wanted class rebalance, and some people been complaining about certain classes being too strong, certain classes being too weak. Yeah, I've been reading the forums all the time and. Yeah, some some of them I really agree about. And next one was new continent level cap. Yeah, new extra contents would be always good. New class, it's gonna happen sometime soon. Uh, new class like new base class. Sorry about that. I haven't received any infos about it actually. So, but. Yeah, it would be cool to see like one more new base class. Always new things, always pretty nice. Personally, bug fix. Yeah, team's working on it. New event and more. This has been also informed to dev team so. 
hopefully they may make s they make some changes according to the survey new mystic class name contest has been finished and it's gonna be named Valkyrie yeah I picked that one I mean I didn't put it there I I was thinking that yeah it looks like Valkyrie to me and actually many of our players been agreeing with me too second place it went to Gunlancer third one was Artemis I guess it's all like sky fairish wings kind of stuff with like big ass weapon type plus female <laughs> and mostly that fits for Valkyrie name yeah that was my opinion anyway and this advanced class name was been ch has been had been chosen as Valkyria Grande 30% so people are still hanging on to the idea of it being a Valkyrie I couldn't agree more actually but <laughs> I was just hoping a little bit that some people come up with a new idea but and the second place went to Astral Striker and a Nova Blaster the rest were like little ones and yeah well Thank you everyone who voted for the name contest and also who put their ideas to the game and yeah it was really great to see all those supports and feedbacks so thank you again for all those ideas and supports you guys giving to the game and yeah we always do like give the feedbacks to the dev team and still remember try to remember and apply to the game. So that's this gonna be the end of today's episode of live stream and I hope I could could have I hope uh, I was wishing to bring more information for you guys. But this is as far as I could get for the last couple of months so but it's still there it's still something so Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode and wish it to bring more n good news next time. So this is pretty late for me, so I'm gonna head out and go to bed. <laughs> so thank you everyone again for watching and coming by here to say hello. And as always, well, have a nice day. Well, that's that's someone else's port <laughs> actually I try to bring Claire next time but I'm pretty sure she's not gonna be here for me I really hope she does though I really hope she listens what I, uh, what I just say anyway take care and goodbye for now